Hey, what's up everyone? This is Fitz and welcome to episode number three of my review of Warren Hills Cancun Jazz Festival. In this video, I'll discuss our experience staying at the Hard Rock Riviera Maya. And I wanna break this up into at least two videos and we're gonna start with taking a look at our room. picky when it comes to hotel rooms. Look, I'm good at staying at a Motel 6. We'll leave the light on for you. So whenever we travel, I just let her pick the hotel and the room so, so she'll be happy. For this trip, she wanted a little bit more space, a little bigger room, you know, than the sort of the, the standard minimum size. So we upgraded to the King Deluxe. And one of the other consideration was room location. So we looked at a map of the resort and my wife wanted to be away from the action, somewhere quiet. So we figured the furthest away from the center of the resort, the quieter it would be. Plus, at the time that we booked, you know, the rooms were uh, less expensive because there were still quite a few rooms still available. Now, the Hard Rock has two major sections. There's the heaven side, which includes the main lobby and buildings one, two, and three, and it's adults only. And there's also the Hacienda side, which includes a main lobby and buildings four through nine. And it's adults and kids. Now this trip was during the school year, so we figured you know, there wouldn't be any kids around, but the room type that we selected was available in buildings one and two on the heaven side. And we ended up being assigned building one on the second floor. And we got a really nice surprise with our room. We actually had a view of the ocean. That area of the resort uh, was quiet. Now I'm not saying the other buildings were quiet, but this one definitely was, buildings one and two. And I think most people probably stayed near the center of the resort. We did meet one couple who did have a room near kind of the center of the resort area. And they did say that it was a bit noisy at times. Now the jazz festival is mostly a mature crowd, so I doubt there was anything resembling a frat party going on in the middle of the night. But uh, some of the pool parties did turn up though. Overall, the room was nice, but there were some things that, that we didn't like. First of all, there was no iron, only a steamer. Now we were thinking that, hey, the iron's just missing. So it shouldn't be a problem having one brought to the room. So my wife gets on the phone, she calls the front desk, and they say, hey, there's no iron in our room, can you have one brought up? And she was told that some rooms have irons and some don't. <laughs> Not only that, they couldn't bring an iron from another room. So we're kind of puzzled by that. So my wife would try to steam her clothes, <laughs> you know, and that takes forever and some fabrics, the steaming just doesn't work well at all. And so I said, well, I'm not going through that frustration. So I was just wrinkled the whole time. And I am curious, for those of you who have stayed at the Hard Rock River Aramaya, whether it was for this event or for something else, leave a comment below and let me know if your room had an iron or not. And if it didn't, did you request one? And what were you told? I just want to see if we were lied to. Now the iron wasn't that big a deal, we got past that, but the biggest issue was the open concept bathroom. We didn't care too much for that at all. So from the living room, you can see into the bathroom. So if privacy is what you're used to, you're not going to get it in this, at least in this particular room. Uh, so, But everything else but the room was nice. Uh, also there is a jacuzzi tub right next to the bed, which was an odd location, uh, at least to me. Um, I would have much rather, rather have had just a sitting area right there, just a couch or a chair. There is a, uh, a little small table in the desk in the room. Also, we did find some dead bugs in the drawers, not roaches, but kind of those gnat sized bugs, something real small. Now we use those travel zip bags, you know, that allow you to pack more clothes and kind of sucks the air out. So whatever we didn't hang up, we just kept inside those zip bags inside the drawers. Those were the only issues that, that we really had with the room. Everything else was great. Also, there are robes and slippers in the room that you can use while you're staying there. But if you take them, you will be charged for them. So just be aware of that. 
Um, the bed was comfortable. There is Wi-Fi in the room, but I didn't trust it. So for security reasons, I very rarely went on the Wi-Fi. I have AT&T from a mobile service and we didn't have a problem getting a signal the whole time we were there. And you no know, browsing the internet and doing things online wasn't that bad. Now the Hard Rock has an open air access to the rooms. The first night we were returning to our room from seeing a Spiral Gyra perform at the DECA stage at the Hard Rock Convention Center. As we were approaching the stairs, we looked down the corner door on the first floor and there it was a raccoon <laughs> and man when my wife saw that raccoon she took off running up the stairs and she was slow joe i had never seen her move that fast and we saw these raccoons you know around the resort uh, particularly the rooms uh, almost every night and it wasn't just our buildings we saw them at various other buildings as well and they were harmless um, just out looking for food and I kind of figured out why you see them around the hotel rooms at night. It's because when people would order room service, they would leave their trays in the hallway on the floor. And these raccoons were smart. I mean, I literally just watched a raccoon move the plate cover with this paw to see if there's any food under it. It was crazy. And one night we were leaving our room and the people across the hall had left their room service tray outside their door on the floor. And I already knew what was gonna happen. So I had to warn my wife. I said, look, there's probably a raccoon out here. So just, just be aware of that. So sure enough, when we walked out the door to the left, there was a raccoon obviously waiting for us to leave. So we probably scared it. <laughs> but uh, I'm not trying to scare you. Just something to be aware of. Like I said, they're mostly harmless and you know, they don't ever really bother you at all. And one final word regarding the hotel staff. Man, they were so friendly. They were just completely awesome. They would always speak, they would always have a smile, they'd get you anything you needed. And even though the hotel was all-inclusive, you know, we ended up tipping the staff anyway. They were just that good. Well, that's all I have for you in this video. I want to kind of keep it short. If you want to be notified the next time a video is uploaded, please hit the subscribe button and the not notifications bell. In the next episode, I'm going to take a look at the overall property, the pools, the beach area, and the restaurants. Well, this is Fitz, and I'll see you in the next next video.